Hello, I'm Scott Funny. I'm here to show a video that I made around the end of November. This was during the time when I just got my Section 8 voucher. I was out and about trying to find a place to live. <clears throat> I had a place almost lined up, everything else at the time. Uh, I wish I had this video out sooner, but just in case I had issues, so I had to post up right away. Um, but now I have no fear because I'm locked in to whatever I'm in now, so it don't matter. But yeah, I have this, I got my video posting of the place I was looking for us to rent me pro I was trying to find a place to rent me properties. Even though I paid up $25 for the uh, the background check. I put $100 down for an apartment that I looked at. It was a, it was a 1033 and a half um, First Street. It was a lower half duplex. Nice place, wonderful. When I discussed it with them about this place on the 1033 and a half First Street, that they said the heat was included. That's what I was told. And the reason why behind the heat was included is due to because the water heater was shared. By law by the law that you put when you have a shared water heater, you must not pay for the heat. Even though there's two furnaces and two separate gas meters, but there was one water a water heater. So there was a shared water heater. So you weren't supposed to pay the gas you supposed to have the gas in the included in the rent. That's what even McKinley said too when I went uh, for the Section 8 program I was going through. But they wanted five seventy five a month for this place. For the heat was but the electric would have been separate in my name. I would have paid the electric, put the electric in my name and stuff like that. That was been fine. Because I didn't have a bill I didn't have a bill with them right now. I can still do that if I need to be. But now I'm in a place I include all the utilities and everything else. But this video, the reason why I'm showing it, as I said, I was just worried about reprisals and issues with that. That's the reason why I was worried about showing the video. But now I'm worried about it again. You basically see what I mean, getting mad and angry at this point. as like getting frustrated. They were trying to claim this Lord Duplex to be a two-bedroom two bedroom apartment, which it wasn't. It was a one-bedroom. By court in the city, it would have been just a one-bedroom apartment, unless you did some remodeling. Because they had three entrances to the uh, place, because they had a front door, side door, and a back door. When you first walked in the front door, it's completely open, the whole living room, and everything else, and go to the, and then you go to the dining room, and then there's your kitchen, and the far back is the back, your bedroom and your bathroom. It was a nice place, I say. It was one beautiful. But they wanted to charge it as a two bedroom apartment because they said it could be used as a two bedroom apartment. Not legally. So, <clears throat> so whoever's moved there, I feel sorry for you because that is a one bedroom apartment. They are claiming it's a two bedroom. It's not. You can go to the city and I'll tell you the difference. So, that was to the point where I got so frustrated. I was like, oh, well, I knew I was not going to afford it because I had to pay for the heat. So I had to, I was like, yeah, I was definitely I was going to afford it. So that was a, the, the, the right decision. So that's why I backed out of it. Got my hundred dollars back for the down payment for the down payment on the apartment, but not the twenty five dollars that I put for the uh, background check. So. This video is going to show you all that. It's lengthy to let you know. But, but it's basically it. This was at Rep Me Properties. Oh, God, those stairs are terrible. Like this place, I had to climb stairs. But I'm glad I finally found a place. But I was hoping ground level, because that place was ground level. But you had to, I had to take what I can get. So. And now I gotta place my own no now I have no roommates involved. So I don't have to worry about any problems there anymore. Like what happened on Ganson Street with a roommate. I lost the place in the first place. So here's the video. Um, and everything else. They wanted to lower it down to five twenty five. Mission won't give us a reason why. Because you don't qualify, that's why. Mr. Hunter, you don't qualify. No, only, let's just do it. 
I don't understand why he doesn't qualify when his voucher is for 616. Because they subtract certain things and add certain things to it. If they know he's got to pay electricity, it lowers his amount. His electricity allowance for the electric stove is twenty. Uh, was $10. You would have to call that for it. I'm not sure. Here. Like, depending on electricity, it could be yeah. different. It just could be called different. So there's two parts of the scheme. Um, the paperwork states otherwise. From Mista. Okay, but you have to call Mista. That's not my job to do that. To figure out your paperwork on what they're doing. That's not our job to do that. That's your job to figure that out, not ours. Okay, I'll call him right now. You called Nishta yesterday? Yeah. See, you didn't let me talk to them, so I don't know what you said to them. Well, basically, they said. need to fill out the other portion of the paperwork. It's all verbal. That's what they told me. They can't do nothing unless the paperwork's filled out. That's what they exactly told me. And we don't fill out paperwork. They give us a ballpark on how much they can he'll be able to afford. And they say five twenty five is what they said. So that fifty dollars would be the difference. And then you'd have to pay your own utilities, obviously. And then um, that's where the owner's concerned that you won't be able to afford it. That's what section eight is for. No, I mean that's the, the, utilities. utilities. No, but um, and the extra fifty dollars, or if there's a difference that, that you have to pay. That's the other thing that they won't be able to do. And do you? Oh. And then Section Eight says, like, so if you make your own money, you have to report that to Section Eight. Yeah. Every time. Yeah, I know. So, and they said that can be changed depending on how many computers you fix. They could lower your thing at any time where you'd have to pay some of your rent. You're gonna have to pay some. Oh, yeah. So I mean, what am I supposed to do then? I mean. I Right now, you have to figure out your stuff for Section 8 on what you qualify for, because right now, you don't qualify for that unit. How much would the voucher have to be for him to qualify? The, I mean, it has to be the m amount. The, he, they'll only do 525 and it's supposed to be 575 well, The voucher says 616 That's if everything is included. It's six sixteen. They didn't say nothing of that at all. It is. It's that's how much your voucher you is. You gotta understand, Scott. Included. If you have to pay your own utilities, you have to deduct that from that six sixteen. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Farm probably so busy right now. Wow. Yeah, they're busy right now. <sighs> and that's where I'm stuck at. That's what Becky does with my rent when she does mine. You have to deduct the utilities. Um, and if I anything cheaper, it was, it was worse condition than we in past Section 8. What am I supposed to do? It easier so I can write it down and divide it just different. Phone's busy. Okay, um, how much income would he need to uh, be considered to get that place then? And what's as far as the utilities is concerned. And was what do utilities cost in that house? It really just depends on how much you use it. We've seen it be 150 for some people who leave all their stuff on. You know what I mean? And or it can be 50 bucks. So, and you have computers and stuff like that. It could be even higher than that. It just depends what's left on. When I was I'm paying my toys, I don't. I had no bill no higher than sixty dollars. So well, if you if you have the furnace, the furnace runs on gas. And but it, it, 
gets expensive in the winter. But again, it you're in a lower wasn't, apartment. Again, it was supposed to be included in what I was told. No, but we went over this last week, and I told you that it wasn't included before you put your application. Like when you came and talked to me last week, we went over this. So, how, so you just need the proof of income that you can support uh, paying as utilities. Yes, utilities and for the place, well, but and Section 8 needs to approve it, though. Like, that's our, Section 8 is, like, a big... Right. Yeah, you think that's coming up available, then? Not right this second, I don't, but I do have stuff come available all the time. Like, literally all the time. Because they want 525. This is when Section 8's just a little bit finicky, and you have to... Who do I have? Well, I'm the only, but definitely that to pay for the heat. I won't be able to afford it. Definitely, that's for sure. If I have to pay for the heat, I won't even afford it. So, so uh, is there a set amount that they're that you guys are requiring or asking? That, the rent's that, five seventy-five, well, and then obviously, but if Section Eight won't even match five seventy-five, there's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? So that's really you guys have to talk to Section Eight. Right. Well, I was talking about the utilities. Because I know for the utilities, I know he could come up with something, or right. he could find a co-signer or something like that. Yeah. So that I don't think. Oh, I can get utilities in my name. That's not an issue. I mean, I don't know, but I'm saying in order to afford it. So that's what we're looking at, and then we have to make sure that Section Eight will approve. You're gonna have. have so, so the reason he got, uh, he didn't qualify is because... It's Section 8 and because I have no proof of income for him. I just have your word. I'm not right. saying your word's not worth he anything. He turned in bank right. statements. I know, but I'm saying it's not consistent. Like, you can't, you can't use banking statements because it's not a reliable income. Because it's an it will service. But that makes sense. Uh, so, uh, what about those people that get on Section 8 that don't have income? What do you mean? We don't rent to people if they don't have the income. If they're just I mean, unless Section Eight pays, if it's something that's all utilities included, then and they have fully Section Eight, that's different. But if it's Section Eight and they have to pay a portion themselves, we deny that. You have to be able to show me proof that they can pay their differences. And especially when a Section 8 tells me they have an adjustable skill. Some Section 8 tenants don't have an adjustable skill, so if they get money, it gets lowered. You have an adjustable scare, so if you get money, they can come back and they can reevaluate your thing and change your amount every month if they wanted to. So, uh, what do you look for, like check stubs or something like that, or some, some like as far as proof taxes of is the big oh. one, so because obviously you don't file taxes though, but in your thing, where's I mean, I don't have to make enough to even file taxes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's only 2000 No, 2400 Because Mom claims them on her taxes. Yeah. Thank you for calling her. Mom claims you on your ta on her taxes? Yeah. Why is that? Because she's been helping me on um, stuff like rent or bills if I need to be done. That's that why. doesn't help our cause with you, though, trying to get a place to prove income. So, oh, well, I got to say that if the, if the heat was not included, <coughs> it's not included, that's understandable. So I know how the heat bills get for that part. That part. I couldn't afford that, definitely. But, okay, so as I was told at first, when I, the heat was included. But that one you came in the other day, we told you that it wasn't. And that was I didn't hear it then. I didn't hear it. Then. You said that that shouldn't be an issue. Though. I said electric shouldn't be an issue, but I, that's it. So it's one of the things with Section Eight, Scott, that she said in the meeting that if you have utilities, and utilities get shut off, you get kicked from the program. Yeah, I know. That's, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue at this point of that because that's definitely I'm not gonna be afford with the heat. So I had to pay. With, I had to uh, help pay the bill with somebody. I know that. Where do you live right now? When does your voucher expire? Huh? January. And he's been staying with me. Where's... Oh. And for the last few places I already looked at, they're not going to pass Section 8. So, and, and so I'm not having no luck whatsoever. And you're the only person, people have so far gotten back to me 
and have more de most decent properties. I'm not ignoring you. Give me That's fine. Okay. Um. Yeah. Mm. okay, so we'll be in a separate furnace. What about the water heater, though? Okay, so separate furnaces and one water heater. What about the meters? Well, there are two separate meters there. But I have to, the water here is the one I have to check on. I have a question. I have um, a tenant in here who put money down for 1033 First Street Lower. And they have a question because you say utilities aren't included, they're separate. But there's only one water heater, so how does that work? Who pay, who's paying for that? For the whole building. Because it's five seventy five. What? So that doesn't only include all that. Would you do it to five twenty five? Because if you'll do it to five twenty five, section eight will do it. And with, all right, that's fine, thank you. Okay, so, he said normally that unit's more kind of like what I told you before. He said so, what, and I told him, well, he said, well, he, we could lower it to 550, and, and I said, well, what about 525? And he said he possibly would lower it to 525, but you'd still have to pay your utilities. Yeah. So, um... That's where you are with that, though. Okay. So, and I'm going to double check with the owner to see now if we can lower it to, like, if he'll even do it. And they might just say 550 and take the 25 off, then you'd have to pay the difference on. Or if they'd let you require, I, I'd have to check. Okay. And really, you need to call Section 8 and see what your actual requirement is. Um, now, I have a question. Yeah. Since you deal with the whole Section 8 with the inspections. Yes. Um, he did call another landlord Friday. Um, my TTI worker Becky had gave him a phone number, and she's in Ann Arbor, and she has an apartment with all utilities included, but the apartment has cockroaches. Would that even pass an inspection? Mm -hmm. Well, not if the inspector didn't see them, but if the inspector saw them, he'd ask for them to be sprayed. Now, so she is what she, she said on the phone. She's going to have done, started anyways. So, and if the unit got sprayed, that'd be completely different. So, Section Eight, if they saw them there, that'd be one thing. But on another note, you want to make sure it's noted if you go with them that it says it has cockroaches, so they're not charging you when you move in saying you brought them. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. that does. Because that's fine. Like, and you can move in with them. Cockroaches are a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh yeah. Because. <laughs> They don't necessarily go to dirty houses, you know what I mean? I mean, yes, they can sometimes, but in Jackson, they show up just about anywhere. We have the cleanest units, and the tenants are the cleanest, and it's a whole house, and they'll be like, hey, I have roaches, I don't know why. Okay, company that you have come over, well, my brother, blah, 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 I came over, and, they, and all it takes is like one or two, and then and it, you'll get cockroaches. So, in Getting rid of them is a pain in the ass because they're a harder bug to kill. Yeah, um, and plus my and I, I, my mom will help me out in situations like that too because she's an exterminator. Oh. So yeah, and, and pretty much on that. Then she knows. I mean, like they are like, a pain in the ass kill, but she would probably take care of it for you, and you wouldn't have an issue anyway. Yeah. Right. But you would just want it put down that you didn't bring them in, and if that lady was really taking care of them, or do an agreement with her and say. If I move in here, I want this much of a deduction is how much a spraying treatment would cost. Okay. And she might do something like that with you to maintain, you know what I mean? And you could probably get her because 
what are they, a couple hundred dollars at least to get rid of when you have to do sprayings and then if they have to maintain it and come out every time. Unless you get hooked in. That's what my mom works for. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Unless you get swains, they're forty dollars a every month. That's what I'm saying, forty a month opposed and that's just to maintain it. Like some companies will charge like two hundred and something dollars and do a one time really good spray with one follow up. Or if it's bed bugs, they charge like a thousand with one yeah. follow up with no confidence, you know, guarantee. So it just depends. You know, one place we looked at it had bed bugs in it. <laughs> that's why we wouldn't we weren't even considering it. Not worth it. Not worth it. No, I already dealt with them for three years on over on William Street. I don't want to deal with them again. Not worth it. There's so much the tenant has to do. Oh, yeah. And the biggest thing I say, especially in your business, be careful who comes in the house. Oh, yeah. No. Be careful who comes in the house. Yeah. Because all it takes is, you know, one bad apple or two bad apples. Yeah. And then you're going to have to do something about it. Yeah. Because all it takes is one, and then your whole place is infested. Yeah. So I'd say call Section 8 and see what your requirements are. Like, that's the biggest thing, requirements. Like, what exactly are they doing it? If this and this is included, they should be able to give you a number. Because they gave us a number. Yeah, I got it. I've been trying to call. The problem is, they're usually busy or knowing, and let me answer the phone sometimes. I don't think that's what she's talking about. A re uh, uh, num money figure number. Oh, I, well, okay. All right. So, yeah. You know. That's some homework. Yeah. I'm sorry. He put a hundred dollars hold on this apartment. Yes. Is it still going to be on hold for him? Or yes, I'm not. I'm not opening it. I'm just waiting to see what's going on with Section Eight. So I don't have a problem holding it. I'm just waiting to really to see what's going on. If there's a different thing that you hear from Section Eight, otherwise I can give you your hundred back. It's up to you. I'm gonna try calling him right now. Okay. And so, and what I was saying for a co-signer, so for some reason, if you need a co-signer that guarantees you'll pay your money, that's why I was saying that um, we would utilize, like have a co-signer in your mother or something like that, and then she would Yeah, this is Kathleen again. Um, I'm trying to get it place, uh, but the, I need to know what the, they're trying to add, they're asking me what I could, what would be my affordability, the numbers. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay, no, if they're not included. Water and garbage is included. And they give you a credit for water and garbage. So make sure that they know that. Okay. Actually, hold on. Let me, uh, I'll give you somebody. Oh. No, this is me, Hi. Uh, I was with, well, I'm here at Rutme Properties. I've been helping Scott find an apartment. I've been help doing all this running around. I was with him when we went to the meeting at uh, Community Action Agency. Um, I've been trying to help him understand Hi. all the paperwork and all that. He needs to know what he's able to afford with the voucher. His voucher is for $616. He, he is currently looking at an apartment through Rutme Properties. It's uh, 1033 First Street. The, the rent is for $575. Uh, he has to pay for the electric, gas, and, the, and heat. The wa water and trash are included. Yep. Electric. You did confirm the furnace is gas. Water is gas. Yeah, you confirmed that. But the water, it only has one water heater, so that's shared.
there's only one water heater in the apartment or in the apartment building. Okay, they're saying that because there's only one water heater that they have to do the heat or the gas. Not if they give it credit for it. So normally, like he was saying on the phone, the rent's like six twenty five a month. So and they give a rent it's break and they get five seventy five. Real estate all management. Who is it? I'm McKinley uh, Mishta. It's Mishta. Basically. Yep. So let her know that the rent was lowered for that unit fifty dollars, and it won't, it does not cost fifty dollars just for the water heater, but we lower it to five seventy five because of that the rent. You're lowering it to what? Five seventy five. Normally it's six twenty five. They're saying that it's originally six twenty five for rent. It's for lowered rent. to five seventy five. So they're lowering just it to five seventy five because of the water heater. Mm -hmm. I guess there's two gas meters, but because there's two a gas stove, gas downstairs, and then there's electric. Well, the stove is electric, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's two electric meters and two gas meters. But the gas for the water heater is ran to the downstairs, even though it supports both of them. Does it? But the water heater is ran to the downstairs apartment, even though the water heater is ran to both apartments. She says, no, you guys can't do that. We can, not maybe with Section 8, but we do it. And we have other units with Section 8 that allow it. If there's a credit justified for it, yes, you can. She says, okay. She put me on hold. It's okay. If you can justify it with it, I'm not forcing you. And you know what I mean? They'll mm -hmm. break it down for you. Because if they include it, then then the rent's going to go up, and then what are they? Then it's definitely going to be no, because they're going to raise it past the voucher. Because they'll include gas to it, which means most likely then they'll include um, electric. So, or even if they just include class, if, yes, if they raise it up to six hundred six twenty-five, that's over your voucher now. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so, just so. I'm trying to. Opposed to that water heater itself probably costs about fifteen twenty dollars. Oh. Okay. That's what's said in these two, but um, she doesn't have a current one here. This is Concord, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Makes complete sense now. Yeah. They're always difficult, and I'm sorry. I'm coming to find that out. So, there's very many properties. I'm not very many properties. All pro already dropped them. So, well, there's on Jackson Housing and Jackson. That's a Section Eight too. Yeah, but their list is a mile long. Huh? Their list, waiting list for their because Section Eight is a mile long. They work with people a lot more than I'm on mm -hmm. their list, like 400 and something. I'm just so tired. I Who's the person you're talking to? You know who it is? I can't remember her name. You're too. It's alright. Yeah, just hold on. She would like to talk to you. Hello, this is Amanda with Rentley Properties. Hi. No, I'm saying in general. I didn't say necessarily with you. Okay, because legally you can do that. Um, we have a lawyer who says it's legal to do that as long as you tell the tenants about it. And we're obviously, they get a $50 break off of it, and it doesn't cost $50 just to run a water heater. And they know about it, so we're not doing anything illegal about it. Okay, so in other ways, and then the rent would be raised up though then, and we would include gas, but then it would raise at that $50, so which would make it six twenty-five, and then they can't afford it now anyways because of it, right?
she's saying no matter what, either way it's not affordable. So she said even if it was at six or five seventy five, and then with all your figures, he can't afford it through section eight. Okay. So yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. So she's trying to add it up on the phone, but she's saying so I'm like that's what I was trying to tell her. Well she said even if it's at five seventy five he does not qualify. Okay. All right. Now, I guess we we'll just get the hundred dollars back. Yes. Which the gentleman that I chose her, he's not here right now. So, okay. Um, I'd have to have you come back to get it. We were waiting for a call back from him because I have another question for him, and he hasn't called back. He had a couple meetings in Ohio today, so I'm just waiting for a call back. Why okay. did you expect him in? I'm saying tomorrow he should be in, but it might not be till after the holidays. But I want to double check, and I also might have another place coming up. If you do, you. I'll, I'll, I'll be willing to put that hundred dollars on there. That's fine. That's why I was kind of looking through my list for you to see what I might have to do something for you on. Okay. Um, and really, a whole house would be good for you if I could find a smaller house. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to be honest. That's what would really work for you. Yeah, I was looking at one all pro realty head and couldn't find out who didn't take mine. <laughs> yeah, all pro realty. Frost would be perfect, but you just could not afford it. Yeah. And it's a whole house, but it would be perfect. But that he has to pay all the utilities. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. With some it would be closer if I can get all included. Because you have 616, that, but that includes all utilities, right, for a voucher? Yes. So the rent would have to be about 525 There's no way they're going to do that on that house. That's a nice house. That's like a nice little house, you know what I mean? But it's a whole house. But for you, that would work out perfect. Like, that's what you would want. Um, that's 625 and it includes butter and garbage. That's an upper two. Lower. Do you even have anything for 525? I don't. Not that is what we're looking for. It, they did have a uh, apartment that was had all utilities available. Mm -hmm. We were the first ones here for it, and someone else took it up when I made the loan. What unit was that? It was over here on Washington. Yeah, 235 Washington. P, right? Yeah. That was an upper unit. Yes. yes right? Mm hmm. Oh, and someone beat you to put money down, right? Yeah, that's why I put the money down for that 133. <laughs> that's what I, have. Somebody, I was like, wait a minute, really? Somebody beat you? Yeah, because you need the other one's a studio that would be coming up, so that won't work. Um, I have, how much is that one? Let me think here. Uh, let's go and this That might work though. So Homecrest. Okay. 225 Homecrest. I know where that is. Yeah. You wanna know something? We've had tenants that lived in the same place right now though for a long never any issues. Okay. I mean any issues. I have really I've delivered food down there before but But um <laughs> it's like it's a cute place. It is a really cute place. The last tenant we had, well, I have one that hasn't paid their rent and I had to file on them. Um, and they, I don't know if they're going to be able to get out of it. So that would be the one though. But it's a good size unit too. Okay. The owners are good to it and like fix their stuff. It's city inspected and passed. And so it's a good unit. Okay, and what's that thing all include? That one is 525 a month. And it includes your wire and garbage. You just pay your utilities, but it's a three. It's you're downstairs, and there's two units. So and each unit has their own furnace and water heater. Okay. So it's not like it's um, you're heating a whole house because the whole house is pretty warm in general because there's three furnaces through the whole entire place. Okay. You know what I mean? So. That might be an idea, and I could even see if they would do that one for four ninety five. Okay. And then that might be helpful. Okay. For you, but even if you do it to four ninety five, I mean, 
even if it's four ninety five, you're not getting any extra money out of it from this. Uh, I know. So it won't even matter. So it's, it's only a win win for them. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that is what it is. I can check to see what the tenants like. Do some referencing to see if the what the consumers' bills were for there though. Okay. Yeah, it would be nice because the last couple places I stayed, of the consumers' bill during winter time was like almost four hundred dollars. So well, that was an apartment, though. It was a house. It's different. Houses. <laughs> yeah. But that house had a lot of issues. It had holes in the floor. A holes whole house also is a totally different ball game when it comes to heating. <laughs> <laughs> when you're looking at heating a house compared to an apartment, totally different. Because you're looking at one, you have one furnace that usually does a crawl space or a basement top and the attic. So, and the heat just goes, opposed to in, say, this one, you have one unit, two unit, three units. Okay? Your heat's on, their heat's on, and their heat's on. Okay. Yeah. It's all going to, like, you know what I mean? So, heat is not going to rise that much because they have a furnace and they have a furnace. But the house that you were trying to heat on Ganson Street, you know, you had holes in the floor, holes in the ceiling, broken windows. Yep. And yeah, and William Street was about the same. A, for about the same amount of cost. So, yeah. And the, I told you before that, you know, I keep, you know, Becky keeps me, you know, connected with the resources. I let you know when the care program starts in the summer. Yeah, I'll trust the part, but is it available right now? No, that's the one that's filed in eviction. And I don't know, so I can stick with it. They so it's going to be at least a month. No, in Jason, it usually takes, um, they're pretty swift lately, aren't they? Yeah, they do. They have, yes. They're, like, if you go to other counties, they're a lot longer. But usually from beginning to actual end might be a month. But when you're in the first or second step already, it's maybe two weeks, if that. Now, would you be able to call us when you're done with it, or should we call you? You can call us, but I'm going to have her keep your app up here waiting for a two-bedroom for you. And especially one that would, because I know that one would be six, Section 8 approved. Okay. Like, I know that one would be Section 8 approved, so I know that would be an a easier one for you also. Okay. And that's really what we'd be looking for. Well, we might have some other ones coming available that are two-bedroom, too. It's just that one off the top. I don't really have, have to. File. I don't have to have a two-bedroom, but it's. That's what you wanted, though. Yeah, I don't need to really have to have a two-bedroom. Okay. It's not necessarily. Sorry, I wish Frost was a little bit lower, but it's just a nice house. Because um, that would work out perfect for you. I just, you won't be able to afford it. Not with the consumers, because like we said, houses are just yeah. money. I just need, so just is all I need is a little room for storage, and that's it. So, that's pretty much, and in a bedroom, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because even if they included gas and made it at that, she's saying you still wouldn't be able, even if I included gas on 1033 for 5, even if they did it, included gas for 525, she says you still wouldn't be able to. Sorry, I'm thinking things in my head. It's all right. I'm trying to figure out, uh, and I might have Jana call her back and look at your figures a little closer to see, like, what she's coming up with on what the numbers actually are. Because I know she's saying it has to be at 25, or 525, and, but she's saying even if it was lower, you might not be able to. So I have to look at it. And it's just too bad Disney can't get the landlords to just put their utilities in their name and have go through that and max out the rent voucher. Yeah, they won't do that. They're so. That because it's not, we've done that before and people leave stuff on too much and then the owner's losing money off of it. Well, I get, the only thing I'd be leaving on most of the time is my computers and that's it. Which and I understand then, that completely. They've just gotten burnt on it so many times that they won't take that risk. So. It's just too high of a risk for them to want to take. Yeah, I understand that though. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people just ruins it for everybody else. That's true. Nope, not a problem. So I can let you know, and then I will have Jana call you when he comes in. If he comes in tomorrow, you can come get your check. Okay. For that, just so you have it. And then if there's another place, you can come back in and put that $100 back down. Right, I will have him call you on the 30th. Perfect. To get an update. Perfect. Okay. Nope, perfect. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have her call Section April again and try and figure out who they're talking about. And if we can do anything with them on that one, we will. Okay. So I'll see what we can do. I just, she was very helpful. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. But I will see what I can do.
but I can do to find you a place, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day.